Hello and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time tuning in a very warm welcome to you. My name is Orlando and uh, in this uh, channel we talk about fragrances and in today's video let me introduce you to um, a new discovery and uh, new fragrance as well released by uh, Zara called Sun Desert at Sunset. So this is part of kind of a new collection that I have. They recently, I mean not recently but not that long ago, have released uh, series one of this line uh, which were, the, the bottles are the same uh, but the labels are black rather than white like these ones and they um, they're a series of fragrances that are in collaboration with uh, quite non-perfumers. Uh, uh, this one being uh, Benoit La Posa. So for this one, that's Benoit La Posa, uh, who is also the nose behind um, Angel's Chair by Killian. A very uh, well-known and popular fragrance. Um, and. Uh, the reason I'm mentioning this one, it's because uh, these uh, are getting uh, compared uh, and for a good reason I do think they are quite similar uh, and they are done by the same perfumer so maybe. But before I get into that I'll uh, just like to show you the presentation for uh, this one. Um, so that is the box and so as I said this is a white box with um, a black label on the outside but then inside the label is white and it says at the back is Zara Fragrances Series number two so the other ones are one and it retails at £25.99 here in the UK uh, I believe in Europe uh, Certainly in Spain and Portugal is uh, cheaper, is in euros, is, I think it's 22 euros 99, something like that. But this is the price in the UK, it's 25 uh, 99. So for 100 ml, so they are 100 uh, ml bottles. Uh, while uh, Angel's Share only comes on a 50 ml. So. And I think it retails of at £185 now, if I'm not mistaken. So this one, it's about seven times cheaper. Um, and price per meal, it's 14 times cheaper, actually, because uh, it's double the size of that. But um, let me uh, kind of tell you what I think about these two fragrances and uh, the where they compare and the the differences as well because I don't think they are exactly the same so let me kind of explain it really quickly what uh, the difference that I see um, this one to me it acts they both uh, the parfum concentrations but this one to me acts more like a uh, extrait de parfum so in other words I find this one to be a lot uh, richer, deeper, um, more long-lasting as well. This is very long-lasting. It projects like a monster as well. So it's really a, 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 a much deeper, richer and um, sweeter as well. And just an, an incredible fragrance uh, that I find more uh, for um, to wear in winter time I think or in colder weather uh, well this one I find it um, much lighter than this one so I mean it's still a, a kind of moderate lasting one I think I was wearing this yesterday I would say you would get at least eight hours um, wear of, um, of this uh, it projects quite well for the first three hours more or less uh, and then it kind of becomes more of a skin scent but uh, it's it's still a very uh, good quality fragrance I think and the smell is incredible but um, from the start this one it's 
it's got a, a brightness that uh, Angel's Share uh, doesn't. So Angel's Share is right from the start. It's kind of this boozy, um, boozy infused. It's kind of dried fruits, almost like dates infused with uh, a, co a very nice uh, cognac that has been aged in oak barrels, kind of. Um, smell so it's it's really incredible and uh, well this one um i think it's more it's lighter it's area and there's more citrusy at, at the top but then the, those citrus i think get um uh, warmed up with uh, a strong note of cinnamon that it has and tonka bean as well so it it does get into that um a, a sweet, a sweet uh, fragrance as well in the same territory as this one, but all is lighter if you if if that makes sense. So it's not as deep and rich as Angel's Share. It's um, a much lighter one uh, that can be worn um, maybe during um, autumn, winter, and also early spring. I think this this is fine. Uh, I mean, I was wearing this yesterday and there's already spring here and it works really well. Uh, I'm just going, I'm going to check out the notes um, so uh, of both of them because I do share some of the notes and that's why I find them to be quite similar. Um, so Angel's Share uh, starts with uh, cognac, cinnamon, tonka bean, oak, praline, vanilla, and sandalwood uh, so very sweet very deep rich as as, as i mentioned um while sun desert uh, at sunset uh has incense orange so that as i mentioned that citrusy uh, up top i think it comes from the orange um it's got cinnamon as well and tonka bean just like angel's share um but instead of praline, uh, it has chocolate, which I guess is going to be similar, um, the two of them. Uh, and then it's got cedar and iris. I couldn't detect any iris, I have to be honest on, on it. Um, maybe on the deep dry down, you get a slight hint of iris, I would say. But what I can detect as well in the dry down is the cedar. It's very, it's, it's in the background, as they say, but you can detect it. And what I find that cedar does is it gives this kind of uh, maturity to a fragrance. So it feels kind of more mature in a way than Angel's Chair. I don't know if that's the right word, but I think I, at least personally, I think it's kind of more mature. And it also um, uh, leans more masculine i think than angel's chair angel's chair i would say is um a right uh you know um unisex right in the middle while this one it's unisex but lean slightly masculine uh, and it is i mean on the zara website and also in the shop is on the masculine um uh, it's, it's i mean it's tar targeted for men um I don't know if that's intentional or not, but um, as I said, it is still um, um, unisex, but it does lean slightly uh, more masculine, in my opinion. Uh, I also got or get from it kind of a slight animalic um, note there. It's very uh, faint, but I can get that. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know if it's from the cedar or whatever it is is not mentioned in any uh, animalic notes at all but i get somehow um, um which i find it really uh, nice and um kind of makes this uh, fragrance quite sensual as well i find it really sexy uh, so it's uh, really incredible um yeah i think it's now available uh online as well as in the shops because uh, when I went to the to Zara the other day to one of the shops, they didn't have this one uh, in the shop. They only had the other three, um, 
which are also very nice by the way um one of them i actually featured in my early spring fragrances video which i've already um posted here um that's a very nice one by the way uh and um but i think this one uh because the other three were not available online but they're not all available online and this one was only available online when i looked at so i i blind bought it i've ordered online but uh, I did read the what notes they had beforehand and I quite like the um, the note breakdown so and I'm not disappointed at all this is an incredible fragrance and uh, I think if you guys haven't tried this yet uh, do um, try it because it's just uh, an amazing fragrance and I think it's going to be really really popular from Zara and hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, review uh if you have please consider subscribing to my ch channel for more content like this and um i hope you enjoyed again and um i'll see you on the next video bye bye